When I first dipped my toe into the Warhammer modding, it was quite overwhelming. With a lot of data tables to edit, and what appears to be a hex-based UI format that immediately killed my early mod ideas. The data tables were easy enough to come to grips with. Study how CA uses them, and just use only those needed for your goals. I have been taking my time, trying new things with the tables, and now feel like I have waded out to my shins. I can do some things, but a lot of options remain unexplored. The UI front is a different story though, as I could not see how I would get the hex based files to do what I wanted. It was then that I realised I needed a workaround, and this is where manipulating images to approximate a UI sprang to mind. By using a series of images and Lua scripting, it is possible to create visually interesting mods with fresh mechanics. Creating an image component and showing it on screen is relatively simple, as is updating that image when certain conditions are met. When I first start to think about a new mechanic, the user interface is at the forefront of my mind, as the mechanic heavily drives the UI design. I consider how many images need to be manipulated as the player uses the mechanic, when those updates need to take place, and what limitations are imposed on the player. Some user interfaces are quite straightforward, such as the Medallion of Chakra UI, which contains just 11 images, 5 background images which change the medallion, with 6 smaller images acting as buttons. In contrast, the Runic Forge mechanic of my upcoming Hammer of Grugni mod contains more than 80 images that are switched as the player uses the mechanic. The beauty of this approach is that you can spend hours perfecting your design and the theme or feel of the UI without having to constantly load the game and see how your changes look. As you can imagine, this saves time, but perhaps more importantly, gives you much more scope and freedom to try different things. Once you have settled on your overall design, it is time to start deconstructing your UI into separate assets that represent your controls, such as progress bars, text fields, and buttons. These assets will be shown or hidden based on the requirements of the mechanic, providing the player with an interactive user interface. A crucial part of this approach is taking note of the location of components, so that everything line up, lines up correctly when they are shown in the game. Now, When using this method of UI design, your options are pretty much limited only by your imagination and access to images, or your artistic abilities. I find the UI design process one of the most enjoyable aspects of mod creation, and hope that you will too, should you choose to try your hand at Warhammer modding using this technique. In a future video, we will go step by step, creating a new UI using these principles, which will eventually be added to the game with a simple mechanic. To wrap up, I'd like to take a moment to thank Hot Apple Pie for their patronage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'm Greg Tiger, and I'll see you next time.